Welcome folks. In this video we are going to take a look at how do we execute our test cases in parallel. Now if you really see uh, my test suite that I'm using here it has 30 test cases as of now and this list is uh, will keep on growing because the number of test cases that I have for any given product or any given web application that is always increasing. As of today we can see the list is having uh, some test cases of category drag and drop tests then we have some form, form filling related test cases we have some frames related test cases because in web applications we typically see uh, there will be a lot of frames involved then there are some home page related test cases that I have so uh, on being zero home page I want to do some count of links and I want to do how many unique links are there how many testimonials are there so there are some test cases in that category then there are some javascript related test cases there are some login related test cases there are shopping cart related test cases switching window test cases and web table related test cases so what we are going to see in this video is if we have ever increasing list of test cases plus we have to run all these test cases with multiple browsers then we are in a need to complete our test pass as soon as possible now typically the machines we have they are powerful machines right now the machine that I'm using it's a quad core machine so that means if at a time I execute four test cases in parallel this machine is capable of handling that so why should we use uh, one by one execution so let's take a scenario if I have to run these 30 test cases with three browsers then what will happen is if I execute them one by one then the matrix multiplies to be 30 into 3 there will be total 90 test cases because first 30 uh, will be running with Chrome then these 30 will be running with Firefox then these 30 will be running uh, with uh, Internet Explorer and if we have Opera as well as into the picture or Safari browser also in the, into the picture then matrix becomes huge so let's take a look at how do we go and execute these test cases in parallel using an unit so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this project that I'm showing you but eventually what we will do is we will be creating a new project and we will be building this complete test suite step by step so that it gives you a clear picture of how do you start from scratch and build a suite which you can run in parallel that too with multiple browsers